So I blitzed this probably about four or five times um, and I just added a couple more leaves because it wasn't really catching too good. So I'm just going to show you. So that's it minced, right? So um, uh, another friend of mine, Deirdre, she may uh, watch this video later on. She um, actually may use this, gar the wild garlic and um, mix together black olives that were stuffed with almonds, which is really, really nice. So I've just, this is just wild garlic and olive oil. Um, and this will preserve, I have a wee jar here, recycling, that's the finest. This was actually had a, a pesto in it actually, as, as it so happens. So what you do is you put your pesto into jar, put your lid on. No, that's not all of it, but just for the demo purposes. Um, and put it in your fridge now this will keep for a couple of weeks um but as i say if you want to make it a little bit more um sure interesting i suppose you can put black olives into it you can put it mix it with nuts i would sometimes mix it with almonds or cashews obviously if you have a nut allergy you don't use nuts um but you know whatever you like to so mix it with sun-dried tomatoes particularly those that are steeped in oil already that would be lovely actually with this um and the way i have actually been eating this uh, recently is I get two slices of um, uh, country loaf bread uh, not my sourdough my sourdough is coming along we've had loaf number one and two but I mix um, a nice generous tablespoon of this with soft goat's cheese which I normally to be honest I like if it's, if it's cooked but I'm a bit picky about what I'd have it on um, I love hard goat's cheese uh, it's not always easy to come by but you have to go to cheese specialist shops um, but yeah, this with goat's cheese um, and just done under the oven or uh, under the grill for a couple of minutes, maybe not even two minutes, um, it's to die for. So um, that's one, that's today's one. And I'm just going to show you, this is the one my son made the other day because this was our second harvest. So this is, um, and we, the, we, we had one from gosh, a few weeks ago when I first went out picking them before the flowers came out. So this one has almonds in it. So we'll use this one first um, and then we'll move to using this one. So that's wild garlic pesto. So it is out, as I say, at the moment. Um, just pick the better leaves. I picked off the bits that were a bit funny on these. You know, they weren't funny, but they had, you know, wee holes in them and stuff like that. Um, I mean, you know, if you've ever grown any of your own veg, I mean, I, I tried growing carrots years ago and they were the sweetest damn things, but they looked like extras from a carrot horror show. Uh, they were nargled and, yeah, interesting is what I would say. So, um, yeah, if you if you can find it, go out and give it a go. It's really good for you. Things that grow locally to you grow in your soil and they have the nutrients from the soil and the area near where you live within as you know a couple of kilometers even on the 2k you're allowed to walk at the minute um so they have all the goodness in the soil that you need um which is why like things like local honey is better for you or you know within relatively local um yeah so if you can and you want to give it a go and if anybody has any questions um and i know the answer I will be glad to show. Um, I just spotted here behind me. Actually, I don't know if you can see it. It's the little sign that I have up here on the wall. And I'm just going to share it with you. I just think that's very apt. I like it a lot, which is why I have it sitting on our wall. And you know, sometimes when you have something there all the time, you don't notice it. And then today when I was doing this, I thought, oh, there's that sign. Sharing is caring. All right, lads, I'm going to leave it there. So I'm going to go um, out now and find some cleavers and I'm going to show you how to make a tincture with that. And like I said, cleavers um, is deemed as weed and things that grow locally for you are the best for you or better for you than say that that you'd buy in a shop and maybe has come from, I don't know, not even Ireland maybe. Um, and I'm not by any means saying that um, I don't buy anything that isn't, made by me nor local um you know needs must i can't always guarantee that my blueberries are local so you know um so yeah cleavers is a lymphatic decongestant um and something i've learned so it would be classed as weed like well, i don't know possibly maybe even the wild garlic is classed as a weed by some people but uh, a weed by definition is a plant that grows where it's not wanted that's all it is but some of them grow and you can pick them make use out of them and still take them out of what you class to be your 
garden. So um, I hope you found this helpful uh, and you'll know what all the talk is about wild garlic. So um, I'll see you later. Have fun.